In this video, we are not going to be talking about Grand Theft Auto. Actually, I can't help myself. I'm going to talk about Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm going to talk about it. But uh, the, the purpose of this video is actually, is actually to learn how to get help because we are about to embark on learning about, uh, you know, word processing, spreadsheets, databases, and you know, we'll be taking a look at other types of software that's out there, not so much learning it, but I'm going to teach you stuff, how to use some of the stuff in word processing, spreadsheets, and databases. Uh, that said, how do we get help? How do we get help, right? Because a lot of times people are like, how do I do this? How do I do that? Why is it like this? Why is it like that? And just like for a long time, for me, uh, even though I knew about right clicking, I'd be like, dang, how do I do this? You know, even though I knew about right clicking, I'd be like, dang, how do I do this one thing? How do I do that thing? And uh, and then I'd be like, oh, yeah, I could just right click. And for a long time when I was learning about computers is like I would kind of forget that, you know, oh, right clicking is an essential computer skill. And uh, and uh, and that that was a good thing for me to do when I was kind of stuck. Just right click and see what options came up. Just like for, you know, still to this day, sometimes I will forget that just rebooting a computer, turning it off and turning it back on will sometimes fix problems. And so if my computer's not doing something I want, like sometimes I'll get stuck in trying to get it to work the way I want. And I'm like, okay, let me just restart it and see if that fixes it. Yeah, sure enough, often it fixes it. So I'll forget those two things, which is, you know, rebooting is also a really essential computer skill. If your computer's tweaky, uh, just turn it off and turn it back on and see if that fixes the problem. Um, so likewise, uh, I've found that people often forget or don't know, don't even know yet, you know, that when they get stuck using software, they're like, I just don't know how to do it. I, I can't figure it out. And uh, I am here to tell you or point you towards two fantastic resources to finding an answer to how you do something. And they'll probably seem pretty obvious, but it's a good reminder. So uh, you could go to Google or you could go to YouTube and you could type in, how do I, how do I? And you could finish that sentence however you want or phrase it any way that you want, similar to that, right? So how do I, you know, format text in Word? Da-da, <laughs> right? There they are. Or how, how do I uh, keep a cell, cell reference constant in Excel, Ta -da! and you're going to find answers for whatever how do I you enter to help you figure out how to use a piece of software, and that's the power of the web. I think it's kind of interesting, these autocompletes that come up just anecdotally. Uh, how do I put this gently? How do I get a passport? How do I get iOS 7? How do I love thee? Kind of interesting uh, suggestions that come up. I'm interested in how do I put this gently? Like, uh, not using all uh, capital letters would be the first way that you don't put it gently. Um, anyhow, kind of interesting. Just how do I put this gently? <laughs> Maybe it's a blog or something like that. Uh, the, the next thing is the uh, same thing on how do I YouTube. You get these interesting suggestions. Finally, Grand Theft Auto 5. Got to say something about it because the ad is here. Uh, mature, 17 plus, intense violence, blood and gore, nudity, mature humor, strong language, strong sexual content, use of drugs and alcohol. Now, if that doesn't sound like a video game that you want to play, I don't know what is. <laughs> and here's the trailer, which I'm going to watch just as soon as, uh, as soon as I'm done with this. Uh, actually, the last thing I will say about this is uh, uh, that which we expose our heads to uh, you know, it, the, as Marcus Aurelia said, uh, the soul, soul is dyed in the color of its thoughts. Marcus Aurelius, Heraclitus, Heraclitus said that the soul becomes dyed by the color of its thoughts. And, uh, that which you, uh, point your mind towards is that which you become. And so I had an interesting experience with Grand Theft Auto, which I'll share with you. Oh, but before I do, I will tell you this. I will tell you this, I will tell you this, uh, that a lot of research also shows that, um, what does the research show? It shows that, you know, uh, we are influenced by the media, which is around us. And we know this already, right? When you're a kid, if you're a guy and you went to, and you watch like an action movie or a karate movie with your friends, you would like go out and do action karate stuff or like Fast and Furious, you know, and then like, all of a sudden, we have a whole bunch of people like wanting to drift their cars on the on-ramp, getting onto the freeway. 
And uh, yeah, so we're influenced by the media, which is around us. And studies show that too, that we're influenced by the media, which is around us. Uh, there's you know studies of children and they put them in a room with toys and then there's a TV in there and the kids, you know, to one group of kids, they show one programming of how kids work with toys and to the other group, they show other programming like, you know, beating one of the dolls with a bat. And lo and behold, no big surprise, uh, the kids who saw the programming, the TV show with another kid beating a doll with a bat go over and beat dolls with bats. Like, oh, that's what you do with bats and dolls. So we're really kind of like uh, really easily programmed as humans. And so it's important what you expose your mind to. It's important that you pay attention to that. And uh, there's also a really cool TED Talk about rats and humans and how and the implications for what do we expose our children to. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Okay, here it is. Uh, TED X Rainier. So TED Talk, Dimitri Christakis, Media and Children. And I'm not sure if that's in our playlist here. So I'm going to hit Control F on my keyboard and type in children, and uh, we do. We have that down here, which we're going to see in week 12 and 13, so you'll hear me talk about that again. Awesome. But this video here really kind of looks at how children are really strongly influenced by media, and so uh, you just want to be careful what you let your kids watch on TV and what video games you let them play because it impacts their head. And you also want to be careful with yourself. Uh, you know, because there's all kinds of things we can expose our heads to, which uh, can shape our heads. All right, now for my Grand Theft Auto story. So I played this with my uh, with a friend, and uh, he he was a relative, but then I got divorced. He's no longer a relative. And we played it like a long time, like I don't know, five hours, eight hours into the night. We played it, and uh, it's a brutal game where you like st you're you're basically a thug, and um, you, you uh, do well in the game by being a criminal, being a thug. And so if you need money, well, go jump somebody and beat them and steal their wallet. But be careful because if you do that, then the police might be after you or you got to keep a low profile a little bit after uh, jumping somebody. And so, you know, we played this game where we we're jumping people and beating them and stomping on their heads. Like that's the video game. And, uh, and then the next day at the airport, I'm at the airport and, uh, and, I'm tired, and there's this woman over at the counter whining to to the the airport clerk about wanting something, and I it was just like really annoying, whining, complaining, and I just pictured walking over like in the video game. I pictured this in my mind. Obviously, I didn't do it, but I played the video game. The ideas, the images were there, and then it just kind of came back to me like, oh, if I was in the game, I'd walk over and I'd hit her and knock her down and start beating her. <laughs> Kind of crazy, right? But uh, that's how media influences our head. So if you pay attention to it, you will notice things like that. You know, just like kids. You know, you see the action movie or the karate movie, you go out, you play karate. Or you go see Fast and Furious, and then, oh, yeah, I want to drive Fast and Furious and drift around corners. All right, that's what I have to say about that. But in this video, what were we learning about? We were learning about how to get help, how to get help. Way up here, week seven. How to get help. And the way we get help is we go to Google or we go to YouTube and we just search for how do I do this? How do I do that? Right? You ask the question and be, you know, believe it or not, you'll probably find the answer to what you want to do. The most difficult thing is uh, probably figuring out how to phrase your question correctly to get the answer. Um, and I will, will point you towards one fantastic resource for doing that. Uh, Google search. Let me see if I have it in here. I'm going to add it. So Google search. So uh, knowing how to uh, phrase uh, questions and search Google is real important. So I'll show it to you. I will show it to you. So uh, what we're looking for here is Google Power Searching. And it's called Google Inside Search. You can find it at Power Searching with Google. And, uh, and you, could, you could learn, you could become a power searcher and an advanced power searcher by taking these courses from Google. And then that's really going to help you find answers to the questions that you have if you go through this series of videos here, which is pretty awesome. Um, it's good stuff to know about. All right. See you in the next video where we're going to start learning about Microsoft Word and word processing. <laughs>